Today I'm sewing and sharing the Mule Tote by Kylie and the Machine. There are two views for this bag, a standard size and a maxi size. Whichever view you choose, the construction is the same. The standard size makes a great everyday bag. You could use it as your purse, a shopping bag, a book bag, or even a lunch tote. And the maxi size can hold just about everything. It's great as a travel bag. You could use it for storage. I even used mine as my fabric organizer. This bag uses flat felled seams all along the inside, so it makes for a very durable tote. And for a finishing touch, there are lots of great places to incorporate garment labels. The pattern instructions include many illustrated suggestions for where you might want to pop one of these tags. I dove into my Kylie and the Machine tag collection and I chose one that I thought would be perfect for this bag to showcase right along the outside. I've left the link to the bag and the labels below so you can check out all the details and sew along with me. So grab your materials, cut out your fabric, mark those notches, and let's get started. At the top and bottom of our front and back pattern piece, we have notches indicating where we're going to be placing our straps and our pockets. Transfer these notches onto your material, and then using a ruler and a marking tool of your choice, draw a line from one notch down to the other for both sets of notches. Do this on the right and wrong side of the fabric for your back piece, and on the right side of the fabric only for your front piece. For your center panel piece, you also have notches at the top and bottom, which we're going to mark onto our fabric as well. Just mark your notches at the top and bottom of your fabric, but there's no need to connect the notches here. For each of those notches that we just transferred onto our center panel pieces, we're going to sew a line of stitching about an inch in length below each of those four notches. You want your stitching to be just shy of the 5 8 inch seam allowance. I'm going to be using about a half inch seam allowance, and again, the distance of my stitching line will be about one inch. For each of our notches, we're going to be clipping into the fabric about a quarter of an inch on either side of the notch. We're going to be clipping into the fabric to the stitching line, but not beyond. Do this at all four of your notches. Now we're going to prepare our outside pocket piece. Take this piece to your ironing board and we're going to fold down the top edge by one and three eighths of an inch. Additionally, you're going to fold back that raw edge three eighths of an inch. Fold down that 1 and 3 8 inch section with the 3 8 inch edge tucked underneath. Edge stitch that folded edge in place from side to side. Now we can attach our outer pocket to our front piece. Place the wrong side of your fabric on the right side of your front piece. Align the bottom raw edges and place your pocket so that it's evenly placed on either side of your drawn lines. And pin in place. Now we can take it to our machine and edge stitch the sides and bottoms with about an eighth inch seam allowance. For our inside pocket, we're going to press the top edge just as we did for the outer pocket. Pressing it to the wrong side by one and three eighths of an inch and pressing that top raw edge also three eighths of an inch. Edge stitch from one folded edge all the way to the other. Now that our top edge is sewn, we're going to take it back to the ironing board and press in the side edges to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch. Now with the wrong side of your inner pocket facing the wrong side of your back piece, line up the bottom raw edges and place your pocket evenly along your drawn lines. And pin in place. Now take it to your sewing machine and you're going to edge stitch about an eighth of an inch away from this folded edge along the bottom and then back up the other folded edge. Now grab your strap pieces and we're going to take them to the ironing board and fold them in half lengthwise right sides together. And we're going to stitch the raw edges from one side all the way to the other, back stitching at both sides with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once the edges are sewn, turn your strap right side out. And then press your strap flat. And now we can start attaching our straps to the outside of our bag. I'm going to be starting with my front piece that has the outside pocket. I'm going to align the inner edge of my strap with the lines that I drew on my bag earlier. And I'm going to place the bottom of the strap 3 8 of an inch away from the bottom edge of the bag. And pin in place. 
Do this for both sides of your strap. At this point, I'm gonna be attaching one of my labels, tucking it under the outside edge of my pinned strap, and pinning in place. And now I'm ready to sew the strap. Start your stitching at one bottom edge of your strap and pivot your stitching to align with the top edge of your pocket. Stitching across and then pivoting your stitching once again to come back down that inner side of that strap. And we're just edge stitching here with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And repeat for the other side of your strap. Attach your remaining strap to the outside of your back tote piece. Stitch in place in the same way as before. Use your inner pocket edge as your indicator for where to pivot your stitching. Now grab your center panel piece that we prepared earlier. We're going to start attaching it to the outside of our bag pieces. Place your center panel piece and one of your bag pieces right sides together and start pinning them together from one top edge to the bottom. Once you've pinned one of your sides, Turn your center panel piece so you can start clipping along the bottom of the bag. Use the clippings that we made into our center panel piece to allow you to open up that fabric and get a nice smooth transition from side to bottom. Continue pinning along the bottom, using the clipped edges in your center panel piece at the opposite edge to allow you to turn that fabric and come back up the other side. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and start sewing from one top edge all along the bottom and back up the other side with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. As you're stitching down the sides and you approach the corners, stitch all the way down that side until you're 5 8 of an inch away from the bottom edge and then move this material out of the way so that you can cleanly pivot and stitch along the bottom and not catch any of this material in your stitching. And do the same at the opposite corner. Now that that's sewn, we want to trim the seam allowance of our center panel material only by about half, all the way around. Now that we've trimmed the center panel seam, open out those seams so that the wrong side of your center panel and the wrong side of your main bag are facing you. We're going to take the side of the seam allowance that we did not trim and fold it in half to the stitching line and then fold it on the stitching line. And we're going to pin our now folded seam allowance to our center panel fabric. Continue this pinning all around the side and bottom of the bag. Now we're gonna take this to the machine and edge stitch close to that folded edge of the seam allowance, stitching the seam allowance to the center panel all the way around. Once you get to these corners, stitch slowly and carefully using your fingers to flatten out that fabric underneath as you sew so that you can get a clean pivot with little to no puckering. Do this at both corners. Now we have nice, sturdy, flat felled seams on the inside. Now we're going to take the free edge of our center panel and place it right sides together with the other main bag piece, matching along your edges and pivoting at your corners to pin all the way around. Then we're going to sew all the way around this side of the bag, trim your center panel seams once again, and then create your flat filled seams, repeating all the steps that we just did for the other side. Now it's time to hem the top edge of the bag. Take the top edge of the bag to the ironing board and press it to the wrong side by one and three eighths of an inch. Additionally, press that raw edge to the wrong side by 3 8 of an inch and do this all the way around. Once it's pressed, fold your hem to the inside and tuck that 3 8 of an inch fold underneath. Edge stitch close to this inner fold all the way around your bag. Now we can continue sewing the straps to the top of the bag. Lining up the inner edge of your straps once again with the line that we drew on our bag at the beginning, pin both sides of the strap in place. Now we're going to start our stitching where we pivoted our stitching earlier at the top pocket. We're going to edge stitch along the strap and the top of the bag and come back down the other side, back stitching at the beginning and the end of our stitches. Then we're going to sew a box formation at the top of our straps in line with the top of our bag stitching. 
and you can also sew and exit the top to further secure those straps. Do this for both of your straps on both sides of the bag. Give everything a nice final press and you're all done with your bag. Thank you for watching this sew along. Make sure you check out my other videos for more great sewing inspiration and I'll see you in the next video.